What is going on, nerds and nerdettes? It is your boy, Stevie B, with, dare I say it, a Mystery Box Monday. Yes, it has been a minute for the Mystery Boxes. I said I was going to get, you know, get away from them uh, for the most part. I'm still going to do them occasionally, but probably not that often. Um, but this one came from, a, um, I have the... If y'all have the shop app that tracks your packages, um, tells you, you know, when your packages are coming and everything, um, you might have been, you know, given a, a $10 voucher to shop at stores that you've shopped at before or stores they recommend for you. Well, so I got one of them, and <clears throat> this was from a store that I bought from before, and it was Comics Elite. And so I thought... Well, for ten dollars off, I'll I'll get a I'll get a mystery box. So that's what we're looking at—a mystery box from Comics Elite. Um, man, today in the news, the news, man. There's always it seems like every time I get on here, somebody's we've lost another icon in the industry, or you know, in the entertainment industry, and and this week it's Jason David Frank. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I was never, never a Power Rangers fan. Um, I actually really despised the show. I really did. But, you know, that it's not to say that I don't appreciate contributions that, that these celebrities have made, you know, especially to pop culture. And you can't deny that Jason David Frank was, you know, was a pop cultural icon you know, a, you know, I'm a minority. A lot of people, a lot of people loved, loved Power Rangers in every inception that they did. I just wasn't happy to, didn't happen to be one of them. But, but certainly, uh, doesn't mean that I don't, that I'm not sympathetic. You know, um, it's sad that, that the man passed away. From what I understand, he was a, he was a, he was a, great representative of his brand, you know, the Power Rangers. He loved the Power Rangers. He loved his fans. And so it's a sad thing that he passed so young. I believe he was 49. So it is, it's a sad, it's a sad thing. And, and man, I hate it. Man, they're just dropping like flies, you know, this last couple months, it seems like. But anyway, um, let's just get on with the, with the boxing unboxing here don't remember what you get in here to be honest with you i think i i don't even remember which one i i bought i think it's going to tell me here but uh, uh i did i bought the uh comics elite mystery bundle um it was 30 bucks but i got a 10 dollar discount towards it so it only charged me 20 bucks so i thought for 20 bucks i'll give it a shot um, so, Comics Elite Mystery Bundle. Um, I believe it's just some, uh, collection of their store exclusives. Um, which sometimes, you know, Comics Elite, Comic Elite, Comics Elite, if I can spit it out, um, tend to have some pretty cool exclusive covers. So, I thought, you know, why not? For 20 bucks, I'll give it a shot. Oh, I hate it when they, t I hate when they tape them together. I really do. I know, I know, I know I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm a minority and it, everybody's like, oh, the more you wrap that thing and tape and, and foam and bubble wrap and everything, the more you're protecting the comics. But to me, I think it's overkill. As I've always been, I've, I've always said that, that Gemini mailers have one job and they do it really well. Pack them tight in the Gemini. They don't move around. They don't slosh around. And that's good enough. But anyway, let's just start it off and see what we got. First up. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Tales from the Dark Multiverse, number one, Blackest Night. I think I have all of these. Um... But that's a cool Batgirl cover. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. 
I don't know who did the cover. Um, I think it's Hots. I believe that's a Hots cover. So, but pretty cool. Not bad. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I got $20 worth of books here. Uh, Dark Knights of Steel. Not a fan. Um, never been a fan of the of the old uh, medieval type stuff. Uh, you know, um, the swords and dragons and and all that. So, not a big fan. So this one will probably go go away to somebody. But all right, then let's see. You're supposed to get some. Oh, now that one is cool. That one is cool. But I think you were supposed to get some trade dress, some virgin, minimal trades, whatever. But this is this is cool. I like this one. That virgin variant Wolverine. I'm not sure what book this is. I feel like I should know. I want to say, is it X Lives of Wolverine number one? Probably not because I'm never good at guessing these things. I'm always wrong. But let's just see which one it is. If I can get it out of here. Um, no, it's just Wolverine number three. Wolverine number three. But pretty nasty variant. I like that one. Uh, if I can get it back. That's a bad thing. Is he make you have, they make you pull the whole backboard out just to get to... We'll put it back in a minute. I'll put it back in there in a minute. But... That is not a, that's not a bad looking cover. I like that one. I like that one a lot. <clears throat> oh, and I like this one. Another Virgin variant, Tyler Kirkham. Um, I think this is that banner, part of that Banner of War storyline, but it's Hulk and, and uh, Thor. Let's see if this one is. Maybe I won't have to take this one all the way out. We'll go to the top side. Alpha. Yeah, this is Hulk versus Thor. Banner of War Alpha. Pretty cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then last but not least. Marvel Zombies Resurrection. Ryan Brown. Uh, this is a trade dress. Number one. <coughs> a little zombified... Uh, Thor there, so all right, you know, not. I mean, for at first glance, like I said, I'm really trying to get away from the variant covers and stuff like that. But some of them are pretty cool. I think you know these two, these two virgins might go in my PC, but but uh, yeah, because I do have the Banner of War stuff, but I don't have that cover, so I'm not mad at it. Um. Oh man, look at there. Too much tape. Look at this. Tape stuck to everything. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's driving me nuts that this won't go back in here. Now, um, like I said, Comic Elite, Comics Elite puts out some pretty cool covers. So, you know, um, if I can get one at a discounted price, then why not? You know? I, I really, really hate putting these back in the bags and stuff when they have you and you pull the pot, uh, probably just pull the whole thing out and put it back in there. But, so I ain't mad at it, but, I mean, I'm not sure if I get $30 worth, but did I get $20 worth? I mean, there's five books, two virgin variants, and three trade dress books. Is it worth, is it worth, what, like I said, they usually, their usual charge is $29.99. Is it worth 30 bucks? I don't know, but 20, probably, but who knows? But that's why we run them through the eBay grinder. So let's run them through the eBay grinder and see what it spits out. We'll be back in a flash. All right, we are back, and we ran Comics Elite through the eBay grinder, because that's what we do. Uh, and it's been a while. It's starting to get, they had to 
knock the cobwebs off the whole eBay grinder and 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 you know let it breathe again, bring it back to life, give it some CPR. But we got it up and kicking. Let's see what we got for our twenty dollars, which would normally be thirty dollars. So first up, Marvel Zombies Resurrection. This was pretty hot. This um, Ryan Brown cover was pretty hot for a while, but it's cooled off. Last sold on it was about four bucks. Uh, Dark Knight, or Dark Knight, uh, Tales from the Dark Multiverse, Blackest Night, number one. It's a limb variant, not a hot. My bad. But limb variant, with that, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous Batgirl cover. But uh, last sold on it was about eight bucks. <clears throat> this one kind of surprised me. It's not a key or anything, but apparently uh, they only made 3,000 of this cover. And it's that Gu, N-G-U, I can never pronounce his name. Um, yeah, but um, N-G-U, Gu, Gu, whatever. But it's his cover, limited to 3,000, and it is uh, last sold on it was like 15 bucks pretty consistently. So, wow. Alrighty then. And then, uh, uh, Banner War Alpha. It's a cool cover. Really like it. But it is not worth the paper it's printed on, apparently. Even with Tyler Kirkham. Usually Kirkham stuff. Dang, did stealing Black Flag's wife really, really put a stank on this guy? Because his stuff usually goes for more. But last sold on this is five dollars consistently five dollars, so it didn't worth anything early. And of course, the big hitter is this Gronov uh, variant, um, Wolverine number three. That Virgin variant last sold on it was thirty bucks, and the cheapest you can buy it now is thirty bucks. So thirty bucks is about the going rate on this one, but it's pretty cool. I kind of like it. I may even have one now that I think about it. It looks oddly familiar to me. But anyway, <clears throat> that's pretty much it for the for the mystery box. But speaking of mystery boxes, I've got one bagged up, boxed up, ready to go. And it is going it is a uh, it's a banger of a box. I'm telling you. Um y'all have bought for me you know i don't you know i don't skimp on value but um if you are interested you can hit me up on instagram also stevie b comics on instagram it is 60 bucks shipped it's fire in there i think i got eight bucks in these <clears throat> and they're fire i'm telling you so if you're interested in picking one up just hit me hit me up in the comments i'll get with you whatever but um and i mail out immediately so it's ready to go i'll stick a label on that thing and have it out in the mail either the same day or next day because that's how i roll i don't sit on them and make you wait a week for them till i get off my dead ass to mail them like you know some sellers do we won't mention any names but you know who you are but that is going to before y'all go if you wouldn't mind do all those YouTube things we love for you to do. Like, subscribe, comment, share. And that's going to do it for this one. We will see you guys in the next one. Peace.